Mr. Pinner. Take a deep breath and tell me all about it. It was terrible, just terrible. Oh, I'm sure it was. I have never been so humiliated. Yeah, well, take a sip of your tea and relax. Now, in your own time. Oh, that's nice. Got any pickies? Mr. Pinner! All right, no need to shout. I've just had a very harrowing experience, you know. Yes, and someday, before the oceans run dry and the mountains crumble to dust, perhaps you'll get around to telling me about it. You can't keep a secret, I trust. Mama's the word. <laughs> oh, I was just walking along Larksford Lane. What <laughs> And there was this big gang of yobs sitting on a wall across the road. Uh-huh. And suddenly, one of them, great big ugly thug he was, gets to his feet, points his finger at me and yells... Uh, no, I'm sorry, I, I didn't quite get that. Baldy. What was that again? Oh, some kids out in the street. They called Mr. Pinner. Oh, what was it again? Oh, yeah, Baldy Locks. Ooh. Who called who what? Oh, some kids outside said Mr. P was a slaphead. Oh. Yeah, one of them shouted Baldy Locks. Baldy Locks? Yep. Baldy Locks. That's right. Carry on. I'm an airship and a megaphone are broadcasting to the nation. Oh, Mr. Penner. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Bald spot discovered on the dark side of Pinner's head. Oh, Mr. Penner. Come on. Hey, oh. Mr. Penner, come on. Keep your hair on. Isn't that <laughs> supposed to be funny? Let's just face facts. I'm old. And I'm bored. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going home to polish my head. <laughs> Goodbye. Losing his hair. I think the guy's losing his marbles. Oh, I know some people are just so hung up over their appearance. Don't you worry, Mr. Pinner. I understand. You want hair? You shall have hair. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <coughs> oh, uh, oh, I was I was looking for uh, for Angelo. He, he phoned me. Said it was important. Said to come over immediately. Oh, Ralph Dimpy of Fogel and Dimpy. Oh, Cyril Pinner of Mabel and Cyril. Yeah, I'm uh, Rita's account executive from the agency. Oh. Excuse me, trying, but uh, I mean, tell me to shut up and mind my own business. But has anyone ever called you Baldy Locks? I beg your pardon. You know, Baldy Locks. I can categorically assure you that nobody, nobody has ever called me Baldy Locks. Billy a bull, yeah. <laughs> Chromium bond, certainly. The worst of all. Darling, don't. <laughs> don't. Ooh, don't you just hate being bald? Oh, tell me about <laughs> it. All those terrible cracks. I can't see any. <laughs> no, the jokes. Oh, People uh, laughing at uh, the gangs. Yes. Yeah, I've just had my hair cut. Oh, really? Which one? Mm. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. <laughs> I'd sell my soul to the devil for a centimetre of fuzz. Evening, Lord! Talk of the devil. <laughs> Mr. Pinner, come with me. Quick, quick here. What is all this? Oh. <laughs> well, very nice to meet you, Mr. <laughs> Ah, oh, good evening, Michael. Where's that uh, talented and attractive aunt of yours? <laughs> now, Mr. Pinner, your troubles are all over. My wife's coming back to my mother's. No, no, not that. This, the Angelo patent pending, root restoring, bristle blossoming, pompadour proliferating, paint paste. Goodbye. Hair restorer, Mr. Pinner. 
hair restorer. My very own recipe. Distilled and prepared by a secret process known only to yours truly. A healthy dollop of fresh mud. A cup of cold rice pudding. Half a green banana. Three teaspoons of yak spittle. <laughs> and a splash of sump oil. Now, massage this little lot into your scalp, and the next thing you know, you'll be hiring yourself out as a jazzy bee lookalike. <laughs> and you seriously expect me to smother my head with the contents of your dustbin? Mr. Pinner, with this little lot, you could grow hairs on an egg. Poppy cock. Chicken, actually. <laughs> Pifflin, Louie, I don't believe a word of it. No, oh, that's entirely up to you. On your own head, not be it, Mr P. Or should I say, Baldilocks! <laughs> Where is a woman by the time we get to the Opera House that have sold out of chalk ices? I'll go give her a call. No need. I'm here. Well, what do you think, Mr. Dimpy? Will I do? <laughs> oh, this flame is incredible! Look, look! I don't believe it. Feel it, go on. Feel it! <gasps> yeah. Real hair has got real hair! <laughs> you can have some too, Mr. Oh, Dimpy. Thank you. <laughs> Ready to get me some scissors? It's not my right around. What? Hang on! Hang on! Mr. what about the icon? Your passport to Natford City! <laughs> I can't wait to see your face! <laughs> oh, and I can't wait to see my head! <laughs> and I just did it! so that no one would be able to call him Baldilocks ever again. Well, it was a nice thought, Angelo, but I'm not sure what you've unleashed here. Hey, look at me! Look at me, look at me, look at me! Oh, it's a... It works! It works! Oh, hallelujah, and it's a miracle! Oh. Oh, I can go! <laughs> Mr. Dimpy. Oh, now we shall go to the opera. <laughs> well, we've missed half the performance. Oh, who cares about the performance? When we arrive late, my new hair will get a standing ovation. <laughs> Come, my dear, your carriage awaits. Bye-bye, <laughs> boys. Bye. Have a great time. Enjoy yourselves. Tadam, 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 tadam. There. This stuff is going to make somebody a fortune. Really? Oh, money in the bank, old fruit, pot of gold. I take it you are the sole inventor? Uh, well, I... <laughs> good man, good man. Mr. Dimpy. Coming, my dear. Just you and me together, Cyril. My backing, your brain, child. We'll talk tomorrow. Until then, keep it under your hat. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 you mustn't! Oh, oh, oh. You're throwing away a fortune! Hey? Uh, a formula that could uh, benefit the whole of mankind. But uh, I only made it for you. Ah, yes, but think of all those poor wretches out there. Hairless heroes battling on day after day. Bonces bare to the elements. Oh. And you, Angelo, have the fate of their fate in your hands. <gasps> Only you can give them new heart, new hope, <laughs> new hair. <laughs> What do you think I should do, Mr. Pinner? Goodbye. Goodbye. Stop churning this stuff out as quick as you can. Right, OK. Tell me this. Uh, just one more teachy little thing. It's nothing, really. I wonder if you just mind signing this silly old contract thing you've had drawn up. <laughs> contract? <laughs> Paperwork, eh? What a bore. Oh, but, uh... Just sign there. Yeah, but what am I signing? I've nothing to worry your clever little head about. Oh, I know, but uh, what am I signing? Details, details. Just a little legal document to say that uh, I invented the hair restorer. What was that? I invented the hair restorer. But you didn't. Shh. I invented the hair no, restorer. No, thank you. No, that does the whole world have to know. No, I don't understand. Think about it. Angelo, a cure for baldness, a scientific breakthrough. That's big news. Everyone will want to know who's the brains behind this miracle mud pack. Who is he? Where did he come from? 
Where do you come from, Angelo? Oh, well, you I, I know don't... the press poking, oh, spying, oh, stupid, oh, spying. Oh, they'll never let it lie. Oh, your life will never be your own again. Is that what you really want, oh, Angelo? No, no, no. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I'm volunteering to step in and help you out. Oh, I'll take the credit, but not for the glory or the money. Oh, no, just so I can protect you and see you on... Oh. It'd be torture, of course, <laughs> but you know me. Anything for a friend. Oh, Mr. Pinner, <laughs> you're a pal. Yes, well, uh, just sign here and here. And if anyone asks, it was my idea. It was your idea. <laughs> Lovely boy. <laughs> oh, he, here, now. Now. I'll go and set up an assembly line in the basement. Oh, what a good idea. Well, off you go. Work to do. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Cyril! Oh, oh, come in. Come in. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, yes, very you. Mm, I think so. <laughs> well, down to business. Step into my office, R.D. <laughs> right. Well, I'm prepared to back this idea all the way. Any equipment or materials you need, you just ask me, but we've got to be fast. I've already got Rita working on an advertising campaign. And I've already got Angelo uh, an assembly line going in the basement. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> the boy, the boy. Now, you're the only person who knows how to make this wonderful stuff, and we've got to keep it that way, right? Leave it to me, R.D. Security will be as tight as a sumo wrestler's tank top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to be rolling in it! <laughs> Makes a change from being up to my neck in it. This could be the start of something big. Dimpy and Pinna. Pina and Dimpy. Huh? Oh. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. We are partners. Everything down the middle. Exactly. 60% for me and 40% for you. But that's... <coughs> exactly. Yes, it should be. <laughs> Partner. Hey, Michael, what do you think? Slap it on a head that's bare. In seconds, you'll be sprouting hair. New Slap It On from Pinner and Dimpy. Whoa, hey, have I missed something here? Look at this one. Um, don't be a sap, be a slap happy chap. You Slap It On, a product from the Pinner and Dimpy range. This is nuts. Uh, double nuts with nuts on the side. They're seriously gonna market this stuff. Mr. Dimpy is my boss, if that's what he wants. Well, who the heck's gonna make it all? Oh, excuse me! Mind your backs, please. The bananas are here. Angelo, what are you playing at? Why are you doing all this? For the benefit of mankind. To boldly go when no hair tonic has gone before. Hey, to boldly go. That is not bad. Hurry up, hurry up. No time to stand here nattering. Ah, sorry, Mr. P. Hey, what have you guys got down there? I'm sorry, but I've got a business to run here and 50,000 jars of Slap It On to produce. Excuse me. To boldly go where no hair tonic has gone before. Auntie Rita. Hey, not bad, huh? Don't you think this is all wrong? What? You think the lettering's a tad too large? No, I mean <laughs> Angelo. I haven't seen him for a week. Pinhead's got him slaving day and night down there. I'm worried. Yeah, me too. This is definitely not the shade of yellow I specified. <laughs> yes, yes, R.D. And another 2,000 for Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> No problem, R.D. My workforce won't my work in a 36-hour day. Well, bye-bye, Ralph. Bye-bye, Cyril. <laughs> Hello, Cyril. Hello, <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> Angelo! I can't stop now. Busy, busy, busy. Oh. You look terrible. Oh, I know. It's not so bad. I've got a 10-minute tea break coming up in uh, 10, 15 hours' time. You should let Pinner do this to you. Well, Mr Pinner, my mate, the best chum in the world, 
Well, get real, Angelo. He's ripping you off. Oh, are you kidding? The man's a saint. Why, he even told everybody that he invented Slap It On to save me from all the fuss and bother. Here, look at this. Now that is what I call a friend. That is what I call a money-grabbing skunk. Look, Angelo, just listen to me. You don't have to do all this. I most certainly do. It's for the benefit of bald men everywhere. It's for the benefit mm. of Pinner's bank balance. Mm. So young, so cynical. Oh, cynical schminical. Look, Angelo, I want to help you. Oh, you want to help me, do you? Right. Well, get down the end of that conveyor belt, grab a few lids and get stuck in. Because, buddy, <laughs> I got work to do. I now call this bold meeting to order. <laughs> Sales of Slap It On have gone through the roof. If we're going at this rate, we shall have to double our output. Don't worry, Zardy. All in hand. The more we sell, the more we make. <laughs> and the more we make, the richer we become. Thank our stars for bald men everywhere. Hair loss is our game. <laughs> 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 didn't it occur to you to test it uh, first? Uh, I didn't think it was necessary, Arthur. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Bad news, Arthur. Don't you, Arthur, me? You mutton-head pinner! There's complaints pouring in from all over the country. Hairs falling out from Paisley to Penzance. It's going to cost us millions in compensation. Oh. And all because of your stupid, stupid invention. Oh, well, actually, it wasn't my invention. What? Oh, no. Uh, no, it, it was him. It, it was Angela. It was his idea, not mine. Is this right? Mr. Pinner, how could you? Trying to put the blame on Angelo. It was him. Honest, it was. It was. Oh, yeah? Well, how do you explain this? Now you see what type of person you're dealing with, Mr. Dimpy. She's in black and white. Sole inventor, Cyril Pinner. And it's your signature. No, no, no. Tell me, I can't tell you who made the hair restorer. <coughs> you did, Mr. Pinner. Old pal, old friend. Don't, don't tell him what I told you to say, tell him the truth. I know the truth. I've got a partner who's a twister and a cheat. Never mind hair restorer. You're going to need life restorer. <laughs> <laughs> Another small business bites the dust. <laughs> Mom? Dad? What are you doing hey, here? Oh. Hey! 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 You canceled your holiday just to come back for a lousy job interview? Well? Where is he? Where is he? 